Hello, this is Anna Kumisari from 8th semester C-section CUT. Today I am going to give a technical seminar on smart home automation using computer vision and segmented image processing. So let's look, let's like look into the content in this video that is abstract introduction, architecture, implementation, results, conclusion, and references. So abstract, abstract of this project is, it is used to develop a smart IoT based life control system. It is an efficient and intelligent system which can utilize the light efficiently and it helps to minimize the wastage of electricity by controlling the electrical appliances. So the next is introduction. Smart home. A smart home consists of electronic devices that can be controlled remotely by using smartphones or computer or laptops. The next is object detection algorithm, SSD with BaseNet mobile net. That is, abbreviation of SSD is single shot detector. It is introduced in the year 2016. It helps to detect the high quality images. It achieves 74.3% MAP, that is mean average precision at 59 frames per second. So the next is image processing. Image processing is a method which helps to perform some operations on images in order to extract information from it and it helps to analyze and manipulate uh, digitized images and helps to improve its quality. So the next is computer vision. Computer vision, it is a field of computer science that works on enabling computers to identify and process the images in a way that human vision does. Then it provides an appropriate output. Next is artificial intelligence. It helps to refer to simula simulate of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like human and act like a human. So the next is IoT, that is Internet of Things. It describes a network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors, softwares, and other technologies for purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices over the internet. So these are the these are the topics and these are the technologies which we use in this project. The next is architecture. It is an architecture of single shot detector where it takes the input as image and converts it into an quality image with converting of with the help of converting seven layers and finally it gives an output as image with high quality so this helps to detect the image with a high quality, which will be helpful for this project. Next is implementation. So this is a flow chart of this project. That is, first it starts the first it starts uh, and extract the live frame 
from CCTV cameras. Then it checks for any person or any face recognition. That is, it checks for any present person present or not. If it is true, then it checks for the quadrant. That is, in which quadrant the person is present. Then it if mm, person is present, then check for the quadrant. And finally, it uh, controls the appliance. That is, based on the uh, particular quadrant, it the particular part of the quadrant LED will be glow. In the another case, it starts and extract live frame from the CCTV and check for any face recognition. If there is no person present in the image, then that is nothing but the condition is false. Then it again go back to the applicant's controlling that is where the LED will not be glow. So these are the steps. This first it read from the frame from CCTV camera. Then it's matrix dimension into four quadrants. As you can see in this picture, where the room is partitioned with the four quadrants. And then it check for any face detection of a person. If there is a person present in the any any of the quadrant then that part of the uh, light will be glowed or LED will be glowed, else it will not be glowed. So check for the respective quadrant where the face is detected and based on that, it activates the applicant. So next is results. So as we can see in this picture, where only a one LED is glow and the remaining is hot. As because the room where it consists of four quadrants, in the first quadrant, in the first quadrant, the person is present and the remaining quadrant, the present the persons are not present. So the only the first quadrant LED will be glow. As you can see in this picture, where a room consists of four quadrants and four persons are present, that is at each quadrant. So the four LEDs are in glow. Last is conclusion. So the main you know, aim of this project is saves energy and it helps to detect the humans in each segment by using object detection mechanism. And uh, here humans does not worry about the power where the humans can walk in and walk out at any time and any way. Then we can use existing cameras and for implementation, it is very low cost for hardware. The next is references. These are the websites and papers which I have been referred and researched on it in order to gain the knowledge from on this topic. That's all. Thank you.